listen, hallelujah. I just felt the spirit of the Lord on that song to release that prophetically over many of you today. Thank you for coming in the room, for sharing and inviting those of you. If I didn't greet you and say welcome, please know that I love you with my spirit and you are so welcome here. I'm so glad that you are here. Thank you all for sharing on Facebook and on Periscope and those of you on the prayer line who have been worshiping with us for about an hour. You know, there's this time I just feel the spirit of the Lord just brooding, just brooding, just hovering, just hovering over a song. And you know, that's what the spirit of the Lord, that's just the essence of what it is. And you know, as we approach today is Saturday, today is June the 29th. We are approaching the end of the week. We're approaching the end of the month. Hello, somebody. But also we are approaching a new beginning. And, and not only that, but the Lord wanted me to tell you that it's not over. There are many of you that have been facing different six situations, different circumstances. And you know, it blessed my soul. I got a testimony. There was a, a, a young lady towards the end of last week, beginning of this week. And, and she, uh, yeah, I think it was the end of last week. And she messaged me and she said, please pray for me. She sowed a seed. It wasn't that it was this magnanimous amount, but she sowed a seed and, and, and as she felt led. And she asked, will you pray for me? Because I'm facing eviction. And I believe it was yesterday, if not the day before, I got an update. See God, it doesn't take him all day to do nothing. And it can seem like all the writing is up against the wall. It can seem like it's a wrap. It's a over finito. And then God will step in and cause everything to shift, everything to be new. And she said, hallelujah. Even as the message yesterday came through, it's canceled. She te- she um, messaged me on Facebook and said, the eviction is canceled. God canceled it. God blocked it. Don't tell me what God cannot do. Listen, there are people that are saying, and the enemy wants you to believe that it's over. There's no way you can make it. There's no way it can happen. But God is a God who is in control. Listen, in the name of Jesus, you need to know that you serve the almighty, the one living supreme God in Jesus mighty name. And I get so many messages all the time. Lady Jeremiah, please pray for my marriage. Please pray for my husband. You know, that we be reconciled, that he returned to the Lord, you know, and there is this situation. And there was a lady she hasn't even been following for that long and she messaged me and, and, and she and she asked for prayer regarding her, her, her marriage and even there was I believe that same night she was like I don't even know if I should leave right now listen hallelujah she wanted her marriage but she didn't know if she should leave me because of conditions and, and let me tell you listen in less than a week and let's see God don't take all day to do nothing listen he is not limited and when it can seem like it's over you're ready to wave the white flag don't wave it unless you're waving it to God saying, I surrender my all. I give this all to you. I'm not trying to be God. I'm not trying to fix nothing. I just give it to you. And she messaged me within less than a week. And she said, my husband came to me talking about, let's do date night. Come on, somebody. You were just looking at divorce last week. You were just looking at separation last week. And in less than a week, here comes God. It's canceled. It's canceled. It's canceled. Let's do date night. She said, only God, only God can do that. And I just want to encourage somebody that the, the God is yet on the throne. He is yet in control because you need to know that it's not over until God says so. And God is not saying so in the name of Jesus. The enemy's plans have been canceled. You can cancel the funeral. You can cancel whatever those things that have been in the way. God is saying, listen, I need you to be ready to tear that up because it's not happening. It's not going down like that. And so the Bible says that the Lord is leading me this morning in Isaiah chapter number 40 and Isaiah chapter number 40 and starting at verse number 28. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even the youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall but upon the Lord in the hallelujah they are the one those are they that will renew their strength and I just feel like somebody's strength is being renewed on this morning in the name of Jesus they will soar on wings like eagles they will run and not grow weary they will walk and not faint hallelujah that is the God of our salvation in the name of Jesus listen confirmation all of 
in here. Listen, hallelujah. It's not over. It's not over. You're about to get the fresh wind of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You have everything that you need. And then the Lord wanted me to send this to somebody to encourage you this morning. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter number 41. Hallelujah. In Isaiah chapter number 4 to 41, and I'm going to start here at verse number 9 uh, at the B clause. He said, I took you from the ends of the earth, from its far corners, I called you. I said, you are my servant. I have chosen you and have not rejected you. Some of you need to know that God has not rejected you. You've just been chosen. You've just been called out in the name of Jesus. You need to understand who you are, what you possess, and what you carry. And the Bible says, so do not fear, for I am with you. Some some of you have felt like you were all alone. You felt like it was just you against the world. And he said, listen, I don't want you to fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. Hallelujah. Not only are you not alone, but I'm giving you strength today and not only strength today, but I want you to know that I will be your help. I will help you saith God. He said, I will uphold you with my righteous hand in the name of Jesus. All who rage against you will surely be ashamed in disgrace. Those who oppose you will be as nothing and perish. Though you search for your enemies, you will not find them. Those who rage war against you, those who wage war against you will be as nothing at all. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear. Do not fear. Do not fear. Stop letting fear rule you. Fear of the future. Fear of failure. Fear that it's not going to work out. Fear that he's never going to come in. Fear that it's going to be too late. Fear that it's over. The fear hath torment. And hallelujah in the name of Jesus. God is calling out that spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. No longer will the enemy torment you with these thoughts of, of failure and defeat. The devil is a liar. Do not fear. The Bible says over 360 65 times. Do not fear. There's a do not fear for every single day of your life. In Jesus mighty name, God's perfect love casteth all, all fear. And he says, do not fear because I will help you. This one, I'm not just sending my angels. This one, I'm, I, I say it, the Lord will help you. Verse 14, do not be afraid. You worm Jacob, little Israel, do not fear for I myself, saith God, will help you, declares the Lord, your redeemer, the Holy One of Israel in the name of Jesus. The Lord says this morning, I will help you. Hallelujah. I myself will help you in Jesus mighty name. And then verse 21. Of chapter 41 in Isaiah, he says, present your case, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. God is telling you to present your case. There are many of you, you've been carrying this thing for way too long. And God is saying this morning that he grants you, he tells you to present unto me, hallelujah, your case. Whatever things that you've been holding on to, whatever thing that you felt like you've been battling, you've been struggling in the name of Jesus, present your case to the Lord most high because this is the hour where he says, I myself will help you. He will be your defense. He will be your strong tower. He will be your shield. He will be your deliverer. He will be the, your divine recompense in Jesus mighty name. Some of you are about to experience him as Je Jehovah Gamola. Hallelujah. He's the God of recompense. He is the give back God. God will give it back to you greater than you have. I decree and declare this is an hour for restoration, for reconciliation, for grace than you ever had it in the name of Jesus. This is the hour, hallelujah, because your God is getting ready to help you. Father, I thank you this morning and we give you glory, hallelujah, that you are our defense, you are our defender in the name of Jesus, that we can present our cases before you, even as you operate as prosecutor and when you need to, you also operate as our defender. And then you are also the ultimate judge in Jesus' mighty name. See, y'all need to know that this thing is rigged. See, the enemy might come and, and, and he's an accuser of the brethren, but God is the judge and the jury in the name of Jesus. And I decree and declare hallelujah that even as he has a way to declare, even though you may be guilty, hallelujah, the price has already been paid. Jesus has already taken the confession in the name of Jesus and stood in the gap. And so therefore he renders you not guilty in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. And because he's already been tried, there 
there's no double jeopardy. See, hallelujah. You can't be tried after somebody else has been tried and found guilty of the same crime, of the same issue. And so, Father, we receive your divine recompense. We receive your divine heavenly forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Father, and I thank you this morning as you are setting things right and you are setting everything as it should be. Father, I thank you that you are judging things correctly, that you are setting them in their proper place in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that this is the hour that it is not over. It's not over in their marriages. It's not over with their children. It's not over in their finances. It's not over with their homes, with their jobs. It's not over with their lives. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, because you are great because you are strong. It's not over in them. I come against every spirit of suicide, of depression, of heavy loads, of burden bearing, of oppression in the name of Jesus. Lord, I come against the spirit of torment, of toil in the mind, in the name of Jesus. Be ye set free in the mind. We cause the mind. We let this mind be in us uh, that is also in Christ Jesus. Uh, We receive your peace uh, in the mind that covers the mind. Father, we receive your hope. We will receive your love. We receive your belief in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And every thought we come against it. Hallelujah. That exalts itself against the very nature of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we cast down every thought and imagination. Somebody need to lift your hands above your head and cast down those thoughts. I need you to bring them down in the name of Jesus so that when you look up, you don't just see your problem. When you look up, you don't see your issue. When you look up, you don't see that thought in the name of Jesus because your mind, though it may be a battlefield, it's a battlefield for victory. It's a battlefield for winning in the name of Jesus and no defeat. And so raise up your arm and cast that thing down. Pull down every stronghold in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord, the enemy will no longer have a toehold in your life, a foothold in your life, a stronghold in your life in the name of Jesus. The strong man in you, the strong man in your home, the strong man in your life is coming and causing and it's taking control. You are taking your rightful place in the name of Jesus. The enemy will no longer control what's going on and to cause you to be wishy-washy everywhere all the time. One minute you up and one minute you're down. You are in the name of Jesus. The called out ones, the chosen ones in the name of Jesus and the Lord your God is great and he is your defense in the name of the Lord. And not only is he your defense, but he says, I will help you. Father, thank you for your help. Thank you for your strength. Thank you for your might. Thank you for your joy. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your deliverance. Thank you for your love. Thank you that you are in control. Hallelujah. And so we place those things under our feet. You have given us power and authority to tread upon serpents. And we place them under our feet. Oh God, I thank you for the power that you place within us, oh God. Hallelujah. That we will crush the enemy's head in the name of Jesus. Listen, hallelujah. He's gotten out of place. He's gotten out of place. That the stuff belong under your feet. In the name of Jesus, no longer will it be crawling up like weeds. Oh God, you are chopping it down. You're cutting it down. I decree and declare by the power of the living God in Jesus' mighty name. Your mind is is the mind of Christ in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so Father, this morning, your people are taking their mind back. They're taking their hope back. They're taking their victory back. They're taking their rightful place in you in the name of Jesus, Father God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we pull down. We pull down. In the, not only we pull down, but Father, hallelujah, cause the consuming fire of Almighty God to consume every spirit of Python, every spirit of Leviathan in the name of Jesus, every serpentine spirit, every marine demon every incubus and succubus spirit in the name of Jesus that every spirit of perversion in the name of the Lord every porno, every spirit of pornography in the name of Jesus all of those things that are not hallelujah according to your will in the name of Jesus that are causing issues in relationships and marital destinies in the name of Jesus we pull them down no longer will your people feel like the life is being sucked 
sucked out of them and the various areas of their life. No longer will they be suffocated. No longer will they be controlled. No longer will they be manipulated. You are the chief ruler in their lives in the name of Jesus. Every Jezebel spirit has to come down. We come out of agreement with everything that is not like you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We render forgiveness, oh God, in the name of you. We ask you to forgive us, oh God, for the things that we are guilty of, whether it was through sins of omission or commission. God, we ask your forgiveness for sins upon the bloodline, in the name of Jesus, on the mother's side, on the father's side. We ask you for forgiveness, oh God, for generational sin, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we decree and declare that this day, every cycle is broken, that this day, everything is cast down in the name of Jesus. This is a new day. This is a new day. There is a new sheriff in town. We are under new management and we are operating and we are under the ordinance of you almighty God and the rulership of heaven and the rulership of your kingdom and your government that shall never fail nor falter in the name of Jesus. So we repent on the behalf of the bloodline. We repent on the behalf of the family names in Jesus mighty name. And as we receive your forgiveness, God, we receive our rightful places in you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And so father, Hallelujah. We come out of agreement with every spirit of offense in Jesus' mighty name. Oh God. And we forgive those. Hallelujah. That also might have mistreated, might have taken advantage of, but whatever they did, we render forgiveness in the name of Jesus by the spirit of love that comes from you, Father God, that we can be in position, that we can be in alignment in Jesus' mighty name. And we receive your forgiveness today. Hallelujah. There is now therefore no condemnation unto them who are in Christ Jesus. We come out of agreement with guilt. We come out of agreement with shame and despair and not feeling worthy enough to be able to receive that which you have for us in Jesus mighty name. We take our rightful place in our position as ones who have been chosen by you in the name of Jesus. I feel something lifting off. I I feel something the burdens being removed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we give you glory right now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Father, no longer will your people be tormented by the accuser of the brethren. Oh God. And even as Job, hallelujah, even as he prayed the prayer for his friends, that's when you turned his captivity. I decree and declare that this is the hour where you turn the captivity of your people in the name of Jesus and those who have been oppressed, those who have had things they've experienced, seasons, not just, not just, it's been years of losses. Hallelujah. I decree and declare no more losses, no more losses, no more losses. Father, I thank you that this is the hour of their restoration. Hallelujah. This is the hour of their recompense in Jesus' mighty name. And even according to Job chapter 42 and 10, I decree and declare that this is the hour, hallelujah, where they receive double. The double for their shame. The double for their trouble. The double for their endurance in the name of Jesus. No, they might not have done everything perfect, but their hearts were perfect towards you. Their hearts were right towards you, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father, for setting us in the right place. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you for the divine reward of heaven. Oh, God, for the endurance, for the endurance. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. That it's not over as far as the things that the enemy wanted them to believe, but they're getting ready to experience divine turnaround. And Father, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus that every lie the enemy told regarding th- different things, different circumstances in their life. Father God, I thank you that right now, hallelujah, they're about to receive that which the enemy was afraid of, that they would ever get a hold of, that they would ever get a grasp of in the name of Jesus. This is the hour that it is done. We are upon the brink, hallelujah, of what is getting ready to take place. This second half of the year is literally going to blow your mind. I decree and declare Habakkuk chapter number one, verse five, in the name of Jesus, that you brace yourself, that you get ready for 
for a shock because God is getting ready to do something in your days that you would not believe unless he told you in the name of Jesus. This is your hour of the divine turnaround. This is your hour of divine recompense. This is your hour. You are that one. You are the one who will shift generation. You are the one who is the generational curse breaker. You are the one. And it's getting ready to all make sense. What the enemy didn't want you to see. What he didn't want you to experience. Father, I thank you this hour that they are getting ready to believe that you are the one that is on the inside of them. Therefore, hallelujah, every spirit of insecurity, every spirit of inferiority is gone. It is diminished in the name of Jesus because they will understand that the enemy wanted them to feel that way. They lack the confidence they needed. Hallelujah. So that they will not walk in the power that you already given them because they are the ones that are getting ready to shift the whole generation. They are the ones that are to shift, hallelujah, whole neighborhoods, households in the name of Jesus, that it is bigger than them, that it is more than them in the name of Jesus, Father. And as you take control of their mind, oh God, we give you power over the mind, over our minds, over our hearts, over our spirits, over our souls, God. Have your way this morning in the name of Jesus. This is a mindset shift. Uh, this is a life shift uh, in the name of Jesus. They will no longer be the same in Jesus mighty name. Father they will walk in the revelation of who you've called them to be and who they are in you. Father they will understand that they are a supernatural threat to the enemy when they realize who they are and whose they are. When they walk in the power, the authority, the dominion that you've called them to and they begin to say what you say in the name of Jesus. They begin to declare what your word says over their life. They are are getting ready to experience mighty moves of God like they have never seen before in the name of Jesus because you put the power in their mouth and that's why the enemy has been trying to suffocate you feel like you can't talk make you shut up make you scared to speak but the devil is a liar you are being unmuzzled right now by the power of the living God and you will say what heaven says because life and death is in the power of your tongue and I want you to speak life to those things that you desire to live by the power of Jesus and then I want you to curse everything. Hallelujah. That it's time for it to go to death in the name of Jesus. Jesus used both sides. Jesus used both sides. He used his mouth. He used his mouth in order. Hallelujah. To bless those, to command them to live, to command them to come back to life. And he also cursed uh, that which was not, not right. That which was not productive. That which was not functioning in Jesus mighty name. And so uh, father, may we operate hallelujah and the full power of who you are in Jesus mighty name and what you've authorized for us what you've given us in the name of Jesus father I thank you right now hallelujah hallelujah I feel the spirit of the living God thank you Lord thank you father for power thank you father for order for a authority in Jesus mighty name. Thank you father that you're setting everything as it should be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. I feel this. I feel this thing. Hallelujah. I thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hear you Lord. I hear you Lord. I hear you Lord as we release this to your people this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. The Bible says in Matthew chapter number 18, verse number uh, um, 18, we're going to start here in the message translation of the Bible. It said, take this most seriously. Take this most seriously. A yes on earth is a yes in heaven and a no on earth is a no in heaven. What you say to one another is eternal. I mean this. This is Jesus speaking. When two of you get together on anything at all on earth and make a prayer of it my father in heaven goes to action hallelujah and you've been getting in agreement we've been agreeing in prayer not just you and I but you and your spirit hallelujah your mind and your spirit in Jesus mighty name hallelujah that which was birthed that which is supernatural that which is spirit that which is life that which is eternal has gotten into agreement you just believe long enough that this thing might work for you and you begin to talk to 
your mind enough to where it believes in. You got an agreement with what God is saying, what heaven is saying. And when you get together on anything at all on the earth and you've been making a prayer of it, a prayer of it your father goes to action. Somebody say, my father is going to action. My father is going to action. He's going to action on your behalf. He's going to action in your life. God is causing things to be stirred up. God is causing things to be moved. He is causing things to be shifted in the name of Jesus. See, you thought that you need somebody else to touch and agree with, with, with you. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible tells us when Jesus says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Listen, you need your mind to get in agreement with your heart, which is your spirit, and in your with your soul. Listen, you need your whole self to get in agreement with what God is saying. You ain't need nobody else. All you need, hallelujah, is yourself to get in agreement with what heaven is saying. And when you get together, and when you begin to pray, and when you begin to intercede, your father goes into action. And when two or three of you are gathered together because of Jesus, you can be sure that I will be there, saith God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for divine revelation that we can seek a thing and it shall be established in Jesus mighty name. We can declare and decree a thing and it shall be established in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that your yes, even our yes is a yes and our no is a no. Father, I thank you that you have given us divine power and authority because it's who you are and we are operating in your DNA that we are the image and the likeness of Christ. We are created in the image and likeness of God. Hallelujah. And it's important to understand even when we read in Psalms and it said you know our interpretation says that he has made us even a little lower than the angels that was written that way because the Jehovah uh, even the Jewish people they, they feel that God is so sovereign and he is that they don't even say God like they leave the O out right and so they were like who could actually put themselves in, in such a, a, a demeanor but the, but, but the original translation according to the Hebrew and the Greek is that God has made us a little lower than himself and then himself not lower than the angels than himself and so when he talks about who is man that thou art mindful of him and the son of man that thou visited him you need to know who you are and what you mean to the Lord your God your creator in Jesus mighty name and so instead of being pitiful understand that you are powerful let me say that again instead of feeling like you are pitiful you are powerful hallelujah and even at the mention of your words even at your words hallelujah all heaven and earth have to come into agreement they have to begin to operate and function you need to know the power that you possess and that's why you gotta quit cursing your situation stop cursing your life stop saying what you see and start saying what you desire to see and you will begin to see what you've said in Jesus mighty name stop saying more of what you see going on when that ain't what you want to see because what you end up is giving fuel to what you feed and right now you've been feeding doubt but not no longer in Jesus mighty name you're about to give fuel to your faith because you're gonna feed it because you're gonna start it because you're going to speak it because you're going to dream it because you're going to walk in it because you're going to rehearse that is what you are going to rehearse in Jesus mighty name you're getting ready to envision your breakthrough you're getting ready to envision hallelujah what is to come father I thank you that there is a future for your people I thank you for divine financial release for your people in Jesus mighty name father thank you for what you're setting up for your people and their families in Jesus mighty name we give you glory we give you glory we give you glory father we thank you hallelujah for the divine empowerment of almighty heaven and of almighty God. Oh, Father, we give you glory and we thank you for who you are. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, I just feel the spirit of the Lord to release this over your people, according to Isaiah chapter number 22, 22. And the Bible says, hallelujah, that God, that, okay, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, sir. Isaiah chapter number 22 and verse number 22, we're going to go there really quickly. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Lord, have your way this morning. And I'm going to read this out of the message translation uh, uh, of the Bible. Listen, hallelujah, you were looking, but you never looked to him, but that is changing right now and you're about to see something different. God is about to give you keys. He's about to give you keys in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says in Isaiah 22 and 20 message translate on that day, I'll replace Shebna. I will call my servant and I'll dress him in your robe. I'll put your belt on him. I'll give him your authority. He'll be a father leader to Jerusalem and the government of Judah. There is government. The Bible always talks about government or it talks about agriculture because why God is into growth. Hallelujah. Everything that he put within it, he put within it something that will continue to sustain it. And not only that, but God is into government. He's getting into order. He's getting into rule. 
He's into legislation. And when you know how the kingdom operates, you can begin to shift the kingdom. Listen, hallelujah. And, and how it's operating in your life. Listen, he said, hallelujah, that he will be a father leader to Jerusalem and the government of Judah. I'll give him the key of the Davidic heritage. Hallelujah. God said his covenant. He said his promise even upon David. And so he sets it upon you. He'll have the run of the place. Open any door and keep it open. Lock any door and keep it locked. I'll pound him like a nail into a solid wall and he'll secure the covenant. He'll secure the Davidic tra tra tradition. Everything will hang on him. Not only the faith of the descendants, but also the detailed daily operations of the house. You need to know the power that you walk in. In Jesus mighty name, Father, I thank you for divine keys. I thank you for divine keys to open. Hallelujah. And that no man can shut the doors that we unlock. Father, I thank you right now. Hallelujah. That we can also lock doors. That we can also close doors. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. And it will remain locked. And it will remain closed. It will remain shut. Father, I thank you for the divine doors that you have for us. For the divine keys that belong to us, God. That no one else can have. That no one else can take. Father, I thank you right now. Hallelujah. That what you have for us is for us. And that no one else can have it. No one else can take the place of it. No one else can receive the inheritance that you release upon us in Jesus mighty name. Father, thank you for divine revelation of whose we are and who we are in you. Father, thank you for causing us to know the power that you put on the inside of us. And so no longer will we walk in the spirit of defeat in Jesus mighty name, but we will walk in the power and the authority of almighty God along with your dominion. Father, we will not be like those who do not understand. We will be those to study our and show ourselves approved. Hallelujah. Workmen that needed not be ashamed to rightly divide your word of truth. And when we apply your word of truth to our life, God, we know that we are getting ready to experience manifestation in our lives in the name of Jesus. We will walk in the power of you, almighty Jehovah. And we will begin to declare, hallelujah, the promises that belong to us in Jesus' mighty name. For they still stand and it is not over in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and we say and we thank you, Lord, and we call it done in Jesus' Jesus mighty name. Amen and amen. Absolutely divine access. This is manifestation time. Hallelujah. Again, I continue to see 12, 12, 12, 12. Hallelujah. Divine governmental reign, divine uh, order in the name of Jesus. This is the hour of kingdom reign, of kingdom movement, of kingdom order. And God is establishing. He's putting things back in order. He's setting everything right and everything as they should be. Everything is falling into place. And he's setting it up and everything is about to make sense. We are getting ready to walk in the manifestation of what everything has been about. Father, thank you for revelation as we begin to understand really who we are and what this is about. Oh God, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you that there were so many times, so many dark days, we didn't know who we were, but no longer will we remain in oppression because we know who we are and you, hallelujah, we know the power of what we possess and we will walk in it in the name of Jesus. Not only will we walk in it, but we will, uh, we will uh, um, usurp, we will begin to utilize the the authority that you've released upon us in Jesus mighty name. We will not be ignorant. We will not be wishy-washy, but we will walk in it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. No longer under oppression. We are King kids in Jesus mighty name. Father, thank you for the great things that you have for us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you glory. Hallelujah. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory in the name of Jesus. So stop being afraid. It's not over. It's not over. You're getting ready to walk into something that's so amazing. So incredible in Jesus mighty name. You wouldn't have believed it. Had they shown you brace yourself for a shot because God is getting ready to do something in your days that is literally about to blow your mind. I decree and declare Amos chapter number nine over you. Hallelujah. That the restoration is coming to your house, that God is getting ready to repair and fix the broken things in Jesus mighty name. He's about to set every issue straight with every enemy in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. This is God's decree. He's getting ready to do it. One thing fast on the heels of another in Jesus mighty name. It's about to happen faster than fast and quicker than quick in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessings upon blessings. God is getting ready to do it. He's setting it in order. Hallelujah. Because he's good and because he's God. 
saith the Lord this morning in Jesus mighty name he is your helper he is your helper do not fear he says I the Lord myself will help you in the name of Jesus hallelujah you're not without help you're not alone you're not by yourself and it ain't over the devil is a liar hallelujah I speak to you I speak to your spirit I speak to your life hallelujah and I declare right now by the power of the living God that it must line up with the plan and purposes of almighty God in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Father, I thank you this morning. You are amazing. Like you blow our minds and we give you glory. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory. Yes, indeed. It won't be long now. Hallelujah. Things are going to happen so fast. Your head is going to swim in the name of Jesus. One thing fast on the heels of the other. You won't even be able to keep up. Hallelujah. Everything is going to be happening at once. Everywhere you look, blessings upon blessings. Father, thank you for all the restoration, the repair that is coming, the reconciliation that's coming, the restoration that is coming, the divine recompense that's coming, the rewards that are coming. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For being the God of recompense in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. There's a big payback that's coming your way. Father, thank you right now. And we call it done. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Beloved, I love you all so much. I thank God for each and every one of you. Listen, don't buy into the lie. And let me say that again. Don't buy into the lie. Listen, it's not over. It's not finished. In Jesus' mighty name, you're not over. Your life is not over. Your promise is not over. In Jesus' mighty name, matter of fact, you just closer than close. And that's why the enemy wants you to get you off your rocker so you will stop believing, so you will miss it. But you won't miss it. You won't miss it this time. In Jesus' mighty name. And you will realize the empowerment that you have from almighty God, that heaven is backing you. He said, I myself will help you. Father, thank you for giving strength to those who are weary. Hallelujah. Those who are about to faint because you are going to reap because you fainted not. Father, thank you for strengthening us. Thank you for strengthening the feeble knees and the weak knees. God, we give you glory right now in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. We are getting ready to soar in the name of Jesus. You're getting ready to see things like you've never seen before in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As we live for you, as we walk uprightly before you, as our hearts are pure towards you in the name of Jesus, we love you and we put you first place. God, we cast down every idol and every high thing that exalted itself against your very nature. We ask you for forgiveness for making an idol out of issues, an idol out of problems, an idol out of those children, an idol out of those jobs, thinking it's or shorts or being so frustrated or stressed out, not realizing that you are in control of absolutely everything. Father, please forgive us for making an idol out of marriages, out of family, uh, feeling like if, if, if they leave, what are we ever going to do? How will we ever make it? Because you are our God. You are our King. And so we put things in their rightful place. God, we know that you are jealous. Please forgive us for putting other things ahead of you. And so Father, I thank you as you cause us to put things back in order where they should be in our life. God, we will understand understand and we place you as numero uno numero uno we make you our number one hallelujah you are high and exalted and worthy to be lifted up hallelujah hallelujah you are the one that we can never make it without and so we make you first place in our lives God in the name of Jesus hallelujah and we thank you Lord that even as we cause you to take your rightful place in our life God because we depose everything that is not you that we've exalted above you in Jesus mighty name father as we place you above that I thank you that you're going to set everything order that is beneath you in the name of Jesus. You are in control. Hallelujah. We got things out of order. We got things out of alignment. Please forgive us, God, as we receive your forgiveness. And I thank you, God. Hallelujah. That you're about to set things all in right. You're about to set it right. You're about to set some stuff off. <laughs> you're about to set it off up in here, up in here. God, I thank you and give you glory for what we are about to experience like never before in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is done and it is so and it is well. I don't care what you've been waiting on. I don't care what you've needed. You're getting ready to see God take action. That's what the Bible said, right? It said you're about to see him take action because a yes in heaven and a no in heaven is a no on earth and a no in heaven. He's giving you the keys. It's in your mouth in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. And you're about to see your father take action 
because you finally got an agreement. Hallelujah. In your spirit, within your spirit, man. Hallelujah. And your mind, your will, your emotion, they came into agreement. Hallelujah. And that's when your father in heaven gets and goes into action. Hallelujah. Ready, set, action. You're about to see a, a performance in your life. You're about to see a performance like you ain't never seen before. They might as well get their popcorn because it's about to be a show. <laughs> okay. It's about to be a performance in your life. Everything that God said that he was getting ready to do, you're about to experience in your life. You're about to experience divine manifestation at record breaking p- time frame, at record br- breaking, yes, Lord, pacing in Jesus mighty name. You're get to experience, hallelujah, the performance at a greater acceleration than you ever imagined in Jesus mighty name. You better get the recorder because it's getting ready to happen so fast. Your head's going to swim in Jesus mighty name. Everything happening uh, at once. One, boom, 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 boom. Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. Even for the revelation that you gave me, that things are getting ready to happen in people's lives because it's lined up like dominoes. I saw it lined up like dominoes. The doors were lined up like dominoes. Hallelujah. And one door opened up, another door opened up, another door opened up, another door. You're getting ready to see it. Boom, 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 boom. Hallelujah. But instead of things falling apart, they're falling together. They're falling in line because God has already been lining them up. He's the divine orchestrator. He's the divine uh, uh, author and finisher of your faith. Hallelujah. You saw him begin. You're about to see him finish some things in Jesus mighty name. I am Alpha and Omega. Hallelujah. He don't just start stuff, but he's a finisher and you're going to finish. You're not just starting something and not finish it this time. Hallelujah. He is the author and he is the finisher. He is Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. Hallelujah. And I thank you, Lord, that while some things ain't over, we're about to see the end of some battles. We're about to see some end of some struggles. We're about to see some end of some plagues that's been going on. We're about to see the end. It's the end of every stronghold in Jesus mighty name. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what's been canceled. Hallelujah. In Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. We believe for it to be so. I hear you, Lord. I say what heaven is saying. Father, I echo your words, oh God, from heaven and on high. And Lord, I release, oh God, even what you said and even what you've spoken in Jesus' mighty name. Father, you said because you do nothing in the earth unless you first reveal it to your servants, the prophets. Oh God, and even as your servant, Father God, I release what you are saying, God. And I thank you that your people are getting ready to see with their eyes. Oh God, even what you've already spoken in Jesus' mighty name. It's getting ready to happen. Not many days hence. In Jesus mighty name quick 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 quickly 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 they're getting ready to see the performance of their lives in Jesus mighty name Lord and we give you glory and we give you glory and we give you glory and we give you glories the door after door after door he's been setting it up he's been setting but you missed the setup because you were so focused on the situation and the circumstance but God is redirecting your focus and you will keep your eyes your eyes will be fixed upon him in Jesus mighty name and as your eyes are fixed upon him you'll begin to see clearly what is really going on what's really going on what's really going on father thank you for the divine setup the divine orchestration thank you Lord hallelujah for what you're getting ready to finish and what you're getting ready to begin again in the spirit of your people in Jesus mighty name because the earth has been groaning hallelujah and waiting upon the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God this is the hour hallelujah of the last days where you pour out your spirit upon all flesh there's some things that just have to happen so the world can see it happen for your people so that they can believe that you are the one true living God and so father we come out of every spirit of doubt and uncertainty so that we can come in agreement with you so we can experience the manifestation station in our own lives so people can see that you are still God and you still are a God of miracles. You're still a God of signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. And so hallelujah, it's all been worth the wait. The release is here. The release is upon us in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. The miracles can happen now. Hallelujah. Everything, everything has been set in order. Father, the miracles can happen now. Hallelujah. Because we have an atmosphere of belief and hope and faith that is conducive for you operating. Father, we have the atmosphere of faith, which is the breeding ground of the manifestation of everything that you desire to do because you're God. And so father, as we have that atmosphere of faith, Father, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus that you are pouring out your spirit upon all flesh. I thank you for the divine outpour. And I release right now by your power and by your authority and by your or by your authorization right now in the name of Jesus that your people will begin to have clear dreams and visions and they will remember them and they will record them and they will begin to experience the manifestation of such quickly in the name of Jesus. You will give them understanding 
understanding. You will give them interpretation of such in Jesus mighty name. They will have mental clarity in the name of Jesus. I come against every dream thief right now in the name of Jesus that would try to cause you to forget. I come against every dream thief that would try to cause torment or confusion. The devil is a liar. I thank you for mental clarity. I come against every night terror, every nightmare in the name of Jesus. Those who felt like they were tormented in their dreams so much they didn't want to dream anymore. Father, we break that right now. We break every word curse. They even spoke out of their own mouth saying they didn't want to dream because they were scared. The devil is a liar. Father, thank you for the gift of dreaming. Father, thank you for the gift of vision and insight. And so, Father, thank you for the wisdom that when we see something that we don't like, hallelujah, we can come against it in the name of Jesus because you are causing us to be able to see it so that we can properly intercede. Father, give us wisdom with the gifts of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So our young men can, hallelujah, in Jesus mighty name, they can have visions and our old men can dream dreams. Oh God, and you are not a respecter of person. So you will also pour this upon your daughters as well. Father, thank you for power from on heaven and on high in the name of Jesus. This is the hour of Joel chapter number two. Hallelujah. In the have your way, Holy God. Have your way, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. I hear you, Lord. I hear you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're getting ready to release this and, and, and just do what he say. Do listen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. For your outpour, Father. Thank you, Father, for your revelation. Thank you, Father, as we desire to be obedient to you in the name of Jesus. See, there, there has been a time that he authorized. He authorized the warfare. But now, hallelujah, you're getting ready to things, see things shift. There's getting ready to be a change in your life. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Joel chapter number two, verse 12, this is a message translation of the Bible, but there's also this. It's not too late. It's not too late. Many of you have felt like it was too late. Things were impossible, but the devil is a lie. It's not too late. This is God's personal message. Come back to me and really mean it. Come fasting and weeping. As long as you're sorry for your sins, change your life, not just your clothes. Come back to God, your God. And here's why God is kind and he's merciful. He takes a deep breath and puts up with a lot. This most patient God, extravagant in love, always ready to cancel catastrophe. You hear that cancel catastrophe who has been canceled 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 in Jesus mighty name because you got right because you got back in position who knows maybe he'll do it now yeah God has already said that he's doing it now he'll turn it around and he'll show pity and then when all said and done there'll be blessing full and robust for your God let me say that again when it's all said and done there'll be blessing full and robust for your God ain't no maybe about it because heaven is already authorized it it's that blow the ram's horn trumpet in Zion declare a day of repentance a holy fast day call a public meeting and this is our day of repentance this is the day that everything changes June 29 2019 6 29 19 hello somebody get everyone there consecrate the congregation make sure the elders come but bring in the children too uh, even the nursing babies God calls all the children the family the generations to come every me even men and women on their honeymoon interrupt them and get them there between the sanctuary entrance and the altar to let the priest God servants weep tears of repentance let them intercede have mercy God on your people don't abandon your heritage to, to contempt don't let the pagans take over and rule them and sneer and so where is the God of theirs they will not be able to say that and at that God went into action. Did you hear this? Hallelujah. At that, this is uh, Joel 2, 18. At that, God went into action to get his land back, to get you back. He took pity upon his people. God answered and spoke to his people. Look, listen, look and listen. Hear this, my people, in the name of Jesus. Look, listen, I'm sending a gift. I'm sending a gift to you. Grain and wine and olive oil. The fast is over. Eat your fill. Listen, what did the Lord say? yesterday in prayer. He said, this one ain't even one for you to fast about. He said, hallelujah. And the word of the Lord this morning, the fast is over. Eat your field. I won't expose you any longer to contempt among the pagans. I'll head off the final enemy coming out of the north and dump them in the wasteland. Half of them will end up dead in the sea. The other half in the Mediterranean. There they'll rot. A stench to high heaven. The bigger the enemy, the stronger the stench. The bigger the enemy, the stronger the stench. 
The bigger the enemy, the harder they fall. The bigger the enemy, the harder they fall. Fear not, earth. Be glad and celebrate. God has done great things. Fear not, wild animals. The fields and meadows are greening up. The trees are bearing fruit again. A bumper crop of fig trees and vines. Children of Zion, celebrate. Be glad in your God. He's given you a teacher to train you how to live right. Hallelujah. And many of you know, hallelujah, you come into connection. You come into the right agreement. You come into the right alignment. You've been connected to the kingdom people that God has set for you in this hour. And he's given you a teacher to train you how to live right. The code of heaven to, to teaching like rain out of heaven. Showers of words to refresh and nourish your soul just as he used to. And plenty of food for your body. Silos full of grain. Casks of wine and barrels of olive oil. I'll make up for the years. Listen to Robocoma Satayabokoma. Hallelujah, Jesus. He says, verse 25, I'll make up for the years of the locust, the great locust devastation, locust savage, locust deadly, fierce locust, locust of doom, the great locust invasion. I sent your way. You'll eat your fill of good food. You'll be full of praises to your God, the God who has set you back on your heels in wonder. God is getting ready to set you back on your heels in wonder. Never again. Somebody say never again. Never again will my people be despised. You'll know without question that I'm in the thick of life with Israel. I'm in the thick of life with my people. That I'm your God. Yes, your God. The one and only real God. Never again will my people be despised. The Lord is saying never again, never again, never again. And that's just the beginning. <laughs> and that's just the beginning, saith the Lord. That I will pour out my spirit on every kind of people. Your sons will prophesy and your daughters. Your old men will dream your young men will see vision. I'll even pour out my spirit on the sermon. Men and women both. I set wonders in the sky above and signs on the earth below. Blood and fire and billowing smoke. The sun turning black and the moon blood red before the judgment day of God. The day tremendous and awesome. Whoever calls help God gets help. On Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there will be a great rescue just as God said. This is getting ready to happen just as God God said included in the survivors are those that God calls hallelujah thank you father for what you're getting ready to do what you're releasing upon your people even now in the name of Jesus and we give you glory and we give you glory and we give you glory and we count it done father thank you that you would visit us this morning thank you that you would come and speak to your people speak over your people so they understand what they are getting ready to experience and walk into you are such an amazing good good father you are gracious you are holy